Javon brother. He dissing Chief Keith. You know, this kind of left me confused and a little weird. I was shocked when I seen it. A lot of people don't know. They just so concerned with King Vaughn and Old Block and his friends. They don't realize Vaughn got relatives. Vaughn brother said some strong words about Chief Keith. I even heard the word bitch in that shit. Man, we finna talk about this. Hit the like button. Gold on this video, a thousand likes. I'm gonna give you a second to hit the like button because we gotta make sure this video go to the top. It's been a lot of rumors about why Chief Keep don't come back to O-Block no more. The police banned him and all kind of shit. I think King Von's brother opened up the door to letting us know what really happened. So hit the like button. I'm gonna give you a second to do that. King Von's brother posted something on social media that left everybody shook. You know, we thought it was love. A lot of people were saying, you know, Chief Keith ain't really shout out King Von when he passed. He said some quick words, but that was it. He didn't really shout him out like, you know, the brothers that people say they was. Well, King Von brother, he recently said something that was strong as hell yesterday. He said, I got something for your bitch ass. I said, whoa, whoa, hold the fuck up. Them kind of words feel like I don't like you kind of words. I thought that was strong as hell. I got to do my research. Why is he saying this? Why is Bogo, which is Von, Von brother, why is Bogo saying this about Keith? Then it gets even more. He say Chief Keith scary. Oh damn, what the fuck? This shit is getting real strong. So I get to doing my homework. I guess it was a song release of Chief Keith and I guess Boss Top. Uh, you know, and I guess, you know, they dissing Von or some shit in an old song that he sneak dissing or Something like that, I don't know, I don't know. A lot of people say this shit is AI, and Von brother responded to AI, man. He responded to fake music. You know, Keith and Von ain't on no song, Keith and, and Boss Top ain't on no song dissing Von. But a lot of people say this was an old snippet, and Keith was sneak dissing in the song, so Boss Top might have not knew. I thought that was very strong. Then, Von brother came back again. He said, Keith scary. And he mad because Fonum took your cousin Pole and his chain. Who the fuck is Chief Keep cousin that got robbed, got his gun took, got his chain took, all kind of shit. A lot of people felt like maybe he talking about blood money. Or maybe he not. Maybe he talking about another cousin and shit like that. And everybody just linked the blood money. But I was shocked though. I'm not going to lie. They hear the bitch ass. You know, you scary. Four of them took your cousin pole. They took his chain. I say, damn, this sound like Keith wasn't really fucking with them. Keith ain't really cool with them. Anytime motherfuckers talk about a robbery and shit like that. And we heard rumors about a robbery and shit. About a motherfucker taking Keith shit and shit like that. Now words is coming out that a motherfucker took his cousin shit. This lets you know that Keith ain't really fucking with O-Block. In my opinion, O-Block kind of turned on Keith when Keith gained the fame. I guess Keith was one of the guys who didn't share the money. He might have shared the fame, put you in the video, name dropped you, but he wasn't sharing the money, giving you money and shit like that. I don't think Keith was on that. I think Keith got signed at a time where label was still up, where they had record labels and, and shit like that. And he was signed to Jimmy Iovine, Interscope. These people dealt with artists before. They dealt with Eminem. They dealt with Chief Keith. I mean, they dealt with 50 Cent. So soon, Chief Keith got a deal. That label told him, get your kids, get your family, and move the fuck up out of here and don't come back. That's why he was one of the dudes that moved away early. He had a lot of leadership guidance around him. Then the internet took off, and next thing you know, all the labels was gone, and it's a lot of young men became famous on the internet with no guidance. Out here on these streets of Chicago still and got killed, not knowing that they shouldn't be around anymore. Keith was lucky to move out. But I wanted to bring to your attention, Keith, you know, must have dropped a song back in the day that allegedly sneaked this King Von. A lot of people say that shit is AI, it's not real. But King Von brother responded. He called Keith a bitch. He said, Keith scary. He opened up the door and let us know that O-Block took Keith cousin pole, took his chain, all kind of shit. Shit that we didn't even know. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna keep you updated on this, but I'm gonna ask y'all a question. Do you feel like they hating on Keith? You feel like, look, Von gone, Keith gone. Ain't really a lot of clout no more as far as on the music side. So these guys are turning around, hating on Keith. You know, it's too late in the game to be throwing shots at Keith. Or do you think, look, that record came out. He heard it. He has the right to take up for his brother or not. Or do you think this AI and Buddy shouldn't be responding to this? I want to know what y'all think. Leave a comment. 
It's the only two times it's real part of it. Nigga lied, so you get some money from my homie Bond, right? So motherfuckers see folks, motherfuckers take folks' chain off his neck and shit, motherfuckers take folks' shit. Let's go get the bomb, man. You know about T, snatch your chain off your neck, little bitch. Yeah, I can say folks took folks' chain. Then we go try to, you know?